for daily ask reddit r slash ask reddit window cleaners of reddit what is the weirdest thing you have seen while cleaning windows if you enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe so you never miss a video I'm a consulting engineer working in building science and structural restoration a number of years ago while working in Toronto at a 38-story high-rise. We, two contractors and myself, were reviewing glazing and sealant bead and came down upon a window where a woman was grooming her bikini area. We are always taught to see something inappropriate and look away. Apparently we looked so far away we missed the metal flashing lip of the next level down. Our swing stitch tilted one way and swung back and all three of us banged our heads into the lady's window. The glass didn't break but it sure scared the lady. I only did the job for about 8 or 9 months but saw two unexpected things. Got to the top of the ladder and saw a guy I know is a priest enjoying some pork. I scurried back down the ladder hoping he would hear me and then slowly went back up. He obviously had heard me, because when I got back to the window he was standing up reading a bible. The other time I got to the top of the ladder, and saw a woman in her 80s sitting on her bed completely naked. I was sure she saw me, so I gave her a few minutes, before going back to the window. When I get there she's sitting in exactly the same place, still naked, smiling at me. I got a job in an office soon after. Not a window cleaner, but I was at a boring industry black tie event at a posh hotel in London a few years back. Woke up very hungover on the 12th floor, stumbled to the window, and pulled open the curtains. Two blokes stood there staring at my fat naked self. They were on one of those tall building platform things. Took me a moment to understand what the fuck was going on. Close the curtains. Moved on with my life. Not a window cleaner, but I regularly see people having sex in the apartment building next to mine. We can't install curtains, so I can't escape it, and they probably see me as well. Edit, thank you to everyone for all the great advices. Not a window cleaner, but I've been spotted by one. Sat on my day off in my birthday suit having a wank, smoking a joint, and didn't hear our back gate go. He comes in as usual and starts to climb. I had the pon on at a high volume, cause I was home alone. See his head poke up above the top of the net curtains and his eyes widened at me. I stared deadlocked with him for a second, before lunging for a cushion to cover myself with. Most embarrassed I've ever been. I make sure my partner pays him each time he comes to the door now. And I'm more discreet in my masturbation. When I was about 16 I was doing window cleaning and grass cutting as a little side job for some extra money. Went to a house where a few people had just newly moved in, thought I'd get to them before someone else did. Knocked the door, agreed the price, and got to work. All was fine till I got to the last window, one of the bedrooms. Two people, guy and a girl, were in the process of shooting what I'm assuming was heroin. The girl was already out of it, the guy was starting to nod off. The guy was the same dude who answered the door to me. He must have forgot that I was cleaning his windows and maybe I interrupted him. Well he forgot to close his blinds. But something was off. The girl was foaming at the mouth and I've never seen someone nod so quick. Hadn't really seen anyone nod at that point. I was only 16. But the girl was foaming at the mouth. I phoned for an ambulance and found out they had both oded. Deliberately. Never seen them again till like 5 years later when I saw the girl. I asked if she remembers anything from that time. Turns out she survived it, found the light and all that stuff. But her fella died that day. Something I'll never forget. Scary sight to see at 16. She thanked me for saving her life and said she will always be grateful. I don't know. I think many of these stories here are made up. Did some window washing during my college time back then and these are scheduled appointments, so there are really no surprises here, and owners are usually prepared that we are there. One time we did a rich guy's house, and it was just him and his girlfriend there. They got into a massive fight towards the end and she just walked out. Literally walked on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, and we picked her up on our way home. She was a sobbing mess, poor thing. 